and greetings YouTube it's Sunday and it's a beautiful day so I wanted to get out here and uh, try and move this thing along and make way for the new turbine which is very heavy and that is the fundamental problem with this tower at the minute due to the fact that it isn't great and also that it's uh, fairly tall for a, for a short tower if that makes sense uh, there's just and as it's acting as a massive lever uh, I just don't think with the heavier turbine on it's going to cut the mustard so I've made the uh, decision to hack the tower off here firstly this bad boy had to come down which had been up for quite a while so that's going to come down and go into my shed right that was a job well done I think that will go into the shed. Uh, you've not seen the last of that thing. I still like it. It doesn't make a lot of power, but it's still pretty cool. And there's the other set of blades. So now we can get on with the main job at hand. Just wanted to quickly show you the washers at the top of the turbine. Even though the top bit that would face towards the sky is rusty, the two insides are nice and smooth still. Right, I have to connect the winch to the bottom of the tower now and lift it up a tiny bit. Well, we've got what we needed. Though it's a bit of a bodge, that top can be flattened off. Now what I want to try and do is there's some scaffolding pipe slid nicely down in there. We need to get it out. Right, I'm going to move it across a bit, then I'm going to tip it up and see if we can get that steel uh, tubing out. Uh, how can it be stuck when it come out so easily? <laughs> that was a mission. Not some world's strongest man. Shizzle. I don't know how long this bit is and if we'll even be able to use it. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can. I'm just going to remove all the cables from the tower to make it easier to see what's going on and what needs doing.
Right, that's the top ones. Let's throw some WD-40 on the other ones and get them done. So, I feel happy with how that went, all told. I've stripped all the cables off and then I can start uh, giving the various areas attention that need it. What I did for now was I left this piece detached. You can see I've got some kind of, there's some kind of spacer ring almost in there. I can't even remember what it was. You can just see there's the outer sort of water pipe and then there's some kind of thing maybe I just rammed in there. I've no idea. But anyway, we'll deal with that. So I've got my tape measure. It should be 20 feet or 16 feet. No, it's 14, it's 172 inches, 4 meters 37. That's what camera that is. Six feet has come off. And the next job, which as the light's going down, we'll be concreting these posts in, putting the bottom of the tower back in, checking the cable. So morning again, it's Wednesday morning, and what I've got to try and do today is get this piece welded onto the top. This piece here, as you can see, is not connected at the minute, and that is the same width as the tower pipe on the new turbine, which I'm just gonna go get. So there's the bottom of the new turbine. So you see we've got a little bit of wiggle there. That's because it's extremely hard to find different uh, sized posts, poles, that don't have that wobble. So this is one end, and that is the end that I hacked off. So that end is the straightest we've got to go for at the moment. So I've got to get the grinder out and grind up the surfaces. Hello, Milfreds. Here comes Milfreds to say hello. And basically, sorry, I've lost the, uh, it's there. So that's gonna weld in there. Hello, Milfreds, you good girl. Sorry, that's Milfreds' tail. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the welder set up and uh, sort this out. Right, this wash. One thing about having the uh, cover off is it just produces a savage amount of dust and uh, bits of metal that you don't notice when you've got the casing, uh, the cover on. Let's try and get these bits. Gasp for fresh air. That's good enough. Now I've got these homemade tabs on the tower which take the uh, de-shackle. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is clean up one of them and make a nice earth clamp that's out of the way. I don't want the earth lead messing around with what I'm welding up the top. So if we get a nice clean bit on here, that'll be a good earth clamp. Amazing that the terrible quality MIG welding I did years ago, which is just sat on there kind of like a lump, actually uh, never gave up. But there you go. You'll notice I'm using a cutting disc uh, for a lot of my grinding. I just find it's a lot cheaper than a flat disc. I think if you look after one of these properly, it'll last twice as long as a flat disc. That's making it uh, three times as cheap, if that makes sense.
There you go, now we've got a lovely earth. So hopefully I won't cock it up. Let's get it set up. Now what I'm doing is I'm just putting the tower pipe in here and I'm gonna mark a line with a grinder. <clears throat> Let's give this a bit of a clean up where it's going to be welded, which is going to be... Uh... Just put my safety glasses on. So I've spent quite a while getting it lined up to where uh, it looks like it's pretty much spot on both on the top of the tower which you can see there and the pipe which sticks out the top. I've got my nice clean earth cable. Just got to give the earth clamp a clean. Got myself a brand new welding helmet from Lidl which I couldn't resist, 23 pounds. It's actually got an LED light in here which also has light sensors that detect if you're in a low light environment and you can set that to come on. I'll try and show you in here, but I might not be able to. It's got three settings. It's got LED control off, on or auto. And then you've got some different shades in there. Let me just set that up. Let's give it a test. Yeah, it's all good. So that 23 quid, it's got a nice, fairly large uh, face shield on it. The actual solar bit inside on my previous welding helmet was so bad so hopefully that will help a bit i've cut my welding rod in half which i do sometimes because i feel i've got a bit of a shake and the longer the rod the bigger the shake so right fingers crossed Well, bit of a blow out there. So let's flip this over then. Still a bit warm, but it's all good. Trying to fill that in, I don't know how successful I'll be. We've got some of these from Tool Station, they're only about £1.90 for 10. So they're just about the right size for this wire. I have used bigger ones, I have used smaller ones. Which one? So now what we need to do with this end is this end needs to have a turnbuckle on it to connect to the gym pole. One of them's even missing out here, so let's try to get the right, that's the right size. So. We need, this needs extending for sure. A half hour search for the 10mm socket. 12mm, 10mm, eee, lovely jubbly. Now, let's get a turnbuckle. So now, this loop needs to go through. We're getting freaked out by a uh, very noisy, likely American airplane. We'll tidy up these wires. Be a good opportunity to do that. Because that stuff is dangerous poking in the end of your fingernail, trust. Right, now I've got to offer it up to the top of the gin pole and see basically what it's saying. I'll get a uh, D-shackle on. This is kind of the only other thing, I, the only way I could do it to keep using this tower, otherwise I'd have had to dig in a new one. And then 
make sure I've got strength for that right now, if I'm honest. I'll probably fast forward this bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the winch to pull just enough to get the tower at the height of the bin. So I've got a problem with my drill press at the moment. I haven't actually got a socket big enough to tighten up the table because I loosened off the table too much. So I'm going to hand drill it with this thing if possible and uh, it's using a Milwaukee Shockwave bit and I'm going to be using plenty of this. Quite happy to let it slice through until it starts chucking it stuttering and then You can feel when it hits the sweet spot and just starts flying through. Awesome drill bits, and this stuff is amazing. I'm just going to move into the centre of the vise, just to make sure we don't pop through straight into the vise. <clears throat> I wonder if it's becoming blunt. <clears throat> We're most of the way through now. Eww. Right, so I will have sped that up quite a bit, but that took six minutes. <clears throat> Obviously, in my drill press, it would probably be two. But, hey-ho. It's more about preserving these highly expensive drill bits uh, for me. I think that drill bit cost me eight pounds. It's already cut through quite a lot of holes and it's still, it's not gonna be in 100%, I'll say it's still 80. So yeah, beautiful drill bit. Not that warm, interestingly to note. Uh, but then again, this stuff, sorry to go on about this. If you're drilling, bench drill, sawing, cutting, this is the stuff to get. If there's something better that's cheaper, let me know, but I'm quite happy with this product for now. So that's the hole. Now we need to make some uh, uh, metal things. So I'm gonna use some of the bog standard five mil that I use to make the lugs. That is the correct word for them, is lugs. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, I'm, how big I'll need them. It's all to do really with the center of the tower, but if I make them, um, 50 let's go 60 i'm going to make them 60 and we'll take it from there so let's draw that out 60 60. i'm just going to go off of that up to the tower I'd like to go away and gulp in some fresh air that one's nearly done Ooh, it's a bit tasty.
So there's the two basic uh, lugs. Hey, lugs. Show us your lugs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me go get some M10 threaded bar. This bit's longer than we need, but it seems pretty straight. I'm going to have to work out exactly how to space it out correctly. We'll try with, uh, this is going to be the outside. That washer's a wee bit bent there. So what will obviously happen is this is going to be welded onto the tower. <clears throat> It'll be these bits that are welded onto the tower. So I'm just going to take them off and give them a bit of a clean up. That's those cleaned up a bit. So the next step is to offer this end of the shenanigans into the tower. So I have this offered up against the <clears throat> correct size piece of pipe. So that's it set up there pretty much ready to weld. I've just got to go and find a rod. I'm hoping the bolt at the bottom and the clamp at the top will stop it splaying wide open. We have power level 8. Now I know that the bar may interfere with the uh, wire when it's going up, when it gets to a certain point, but it shouldn't be a big deal. So hopefully you saw how that thing works. It needs a uh, plate on the bottom. And that'll be fine. Don't forget it's a bit wobbly at the moment because the side wires aren't connected. So that'll probably do for today. As things I wanted to get done, that's that. On how well it works and how much it interferes with the wire will wait to be seen. I've got the top bit on. And yeah, so very much progress. I know it's, you just want to see the turbine up and running, but this thing was put up years ago and it isn't that great so I'm going to go to the store now and buy some fast setting concrete and uh, that'll be the next job. Peace.